don't live in the safe prison um, of other people's acceptance and approval and validation of your life. It's a funny thing to call a prison safe or even friendly, but I think in life the imprisonments that are happening um, that are mostly difficult to perceive as that are the ones that are embedded in our friendships, our families, our marriages, our homes, our relationships that are closest. Um, we can have a very obvious uh, awareness of the kind of imprisonments and containments uh, that are brought to us by enemies. But we can have a less sensitive radar and awareness for the kind of imprisonments and containments and incarcerations that come from people that are close to us. And we can be blind to us doing that to other people too. So I think I wanted to say to you on this bit of wisdom for life that I want you to be mindful of possible imprisonment by friends. Your jailers are your friends. You know, a smiling jailer and a smiley jail <laughs> is still a jail and it still has bars um, so don't just look for meanness to look for imprisonment or jailers to separate from those are easy to spot and easier to move away from but i think sometimes uh you know even a jail cell whatever jail cell sizes are and uh uh, prisoners that are in jail long term have movement between the bars and the walls then they go into the exercise yard or the communal space several times a day but you're still in jail no matter how much space you get to walk around in you come to realize that it is containment and imprisonment compared to the freedom you had outside the jail and a friend's imprisonment of you a friend's limitation on your life, the containment that people who love you can bring to your life, still has enough freedom in it, enough good stuff in it, enough happiness, enough friendship, enough, enough compatibility in it for you not to spot the downside, for you not to know that the person that often we uh, do life with the closest, we have given the keys to of our freedom and our happiness. And I think this little bit of wisdom for you guys is to say that I don't want you to be free of an obvious jail only to spend your life in a jail you have a blind spot about. So don't, don't spend your life in a friendly jail. Don't live your life in the friendly company of the imprisonment and the containment and limitation of other people's um, friendly validation and friendly control of your life. A smiling jailer is still a freaking jailer. So don't surrender one jail for another one. Don't walk away from and feel, yay, I'm not in that jail anymore because you were obviously in jail, um, only to settle into another jail you were made and born to fly and to live free. You were made for freedom. You were made to flourish and to thrive. You were not built, humans were not built to stay imprisoned, whether that's imprisoned by a friend or an enemy, either of those jails. Jailbreak, get out, move away. Don't go back to it anymore and don't be the jailer to someone else that's your friend. Let them go. Stop limiting them. Stop being threatened by their potential. Often that's why you keep them in jail. Um, liberate. Be a releaser of others in the same way that you want others to release you. So don't languish and die in a friendly jail. It's still a jail and it's still bars and you're still dying in there.